Hi, superstars. Thanks so much for spending this time with me today. I'm Debbie Starr, the writer of In the Waiting, which is found at DebbieRStar.com. It's where I share my story of going from doing movie marathons to running half marathons. And today, superstars, I'm going to be chatting with you about something completely different than running. I'm actually going to be sharing with you and honestly with some of my friends and family for the first time, because only really a handful of my closest friends actually know this, but for about a year and a half, I have been taking belly dancing classes, which are super fun and it's, they're awesome and I've had so much fun with it. So I'm kind of going to share my story of how I got into it and hopes to just encourage you to step out, maybe try something scary and adventurous and on your journey of getting healthy and hopefully you'll have awesome fun and meet some super cool people just like I have and um, that'll just encourage you to get healthy on your journey. So superstars, I got to back up and kind of say of how this all came about was a few years ago when we lost Prince. I'm a Prince fan and so I was watching a ton of videos online and I guess it was just kind of my way of going through the whole grieving process. Okay, I think everybody was in shock that this had happened and so as I was going through this and I was watching a lot of videos, I just kept thinking how awesome his dancers were and how beautiful and feminine and powerful they were. And I just thought, you know what, that would be a super great exercise. And so also at the same time, I kind of already been realizing that, you know, in order for me to be completely, totally body healthy, I need to be able to be using all of my muscle groups and everything in my body. So. I had already been taking notice of at certain races and different running events, I had noticed some body shapes of certain um, ladies and women and stuff like that. And just people all around me of how with running, you know, you're going forward all the time with these muscles that all of those muscles were great and super sculpted and great and chiseled out. You can tell that people were super fit in those areas. But I also was noticing um, a lot of different women have an extra weight. What is our worst problem areas? It's usually our hips and our abs, right? And it's usually the lower abs and the hips, the inner and outer thighs. And so I already had kind of been thinking, you know, I got to be working these muscle groups. So at home, I kind of would just be throwing in some like extra crunches and lower um, leg raises and and leg lifts and things like that. And then also was doing like grapevines and side to sides and things like that. Just that way I could kind of get those muscles also being worked as equally as the others. Cause I want to be able to sculpt everything and have everything going great. Um, that's my goal as I'm going through this journey. So as I was watching these videos and I was thinking of this, I was like, man, that is totally what I need. That's totally what I need to try to do. Um, because with belly dancing, it's all about core work. It's super, you know, about getting that fit and tight and, and having control over all those areas. And then also with your hips, it's a ton of hip work, you know, hip lifts and hip snaps and, and lots of fun, you know, but of course, all of it too, is you're learning a skill, you're getting healthy and in shape but at the same time too, you look great, you're having fun and you don't even realize you're working out. So when this all came about and I started thinking, man, I got to find out, is there even belly dance around here in the Peoria area? I had Googled and at that time I Googled um, and found out an instructor that was going to be in the Bloomington area. So after, you know, talking and praying about it and, and chatting with my husband, things like that, who's super awesome and so supportive on everything I ever want to do. Uh, but we had agreed that it was going to be a Thursday night class and I was going to be driving all the way out to Bloomington, which is about an hour from where I live. Um, once a week in order to be able to participate into this class. So the first night that I went before I left um, with everything, superstars, I totally believe in the power of prayer. And I don't want, you know, there's lots of dreams and goals and ambitions that I have in life, but I want God's perfect will for my life. So not just what I want, but I want to make sure that I have the perfect thing that he has for me. So I prayed on my way there. Listen, God, you know, I just surrender all this to you. I totally want to do this. It looks like fun. Um, but of course, I was kind of um, scared. I honestly, I had a little bit of fear because here I was going to be with a bunch of strangers, people I'd never been around before and possibly showing my belly in the future, which of course at that time, because um, it was about a year and a half ago, I still was pretty self-conscious of it, which I still kind of am too. But anyways, I think we all kind of are ladies at certain times. But anyways, 
I was nervous about going and doing this and totally stepping out. But I also know with everything of interest and super cool and fun that you ever do in life, you have to step out, right? When Peter walked on water, he had to step out of the boat first. So this was me stepping out. And literally, it was almost like walking on water because it was pouring down rain. The whole drive to Bloomington, as I was praying in the car, I'm like, okay, God, if this is a sign that I'm not supposed to do this, you know, but I just surrendered. I said, God, I really would love to have an awesome instructor get along well with all the ladies that I take the class with learn, you know, and then someday maybe have the courage to be able to actually do this, you know? And of course, this is a dream of mine, like down the future, I never in a million years, if you would have told me a couple years ago that at 38 years old, I was going to be putting on a belly dancing costume and going out and showing my midriff to, to, to strangers out in public at 38, I'd have been like, yeah, right. I've been like, totally, what are you smoking? You know, I would have totally been like, you're crazy. There's no way that's never gonna happen. But I'm telling you with God, all things are possible. What's impossible with man is possible with God. And so I surrendered my dream to God. And I just said on the way there, you know, I give this to you. And it was storming and raining. I show up there and it just so happens nobody was there. At the studio where I showed up at, nobody was there. So I get on Facebook and I message and I'm like, hey, is the class still on? And that instructor was totally awesome. And she said, I'm so sorry, but I had to cancel. I'm moving actually out of town and going to Chicago. However, here's some information for another instructor that's really great and I highly recommend her. So the super cool thing here, Superstars is, is the first class that I was going to was gonna be all the way in Bloomington, an hour drive there and like an hour drive back. This class, um, the instructor that she encouraged me to go to was Pava from Pava Productions. She has over 45 years of belly dancing experience. Her daughter also teaches with her, who has been belly dancing all of her life. And um, so, and it was super cool because it was only like 20 minutes away from my house. So not only was it closer to the, ho the home, but then the first night I walked into class, it was awesome. Like I ended up going home that night and I ended up um, Facebook messaging the information that I'd gotten. Once I got a hold of her, she said, yeah, we have class, we'd love to have you. You know, it's Thursday nights. And she gave me all the details about it. And so I was super excited to show up. And when I did, week after week showing up, I got to know people. I love all the girls I dance with. I totally get along with all of them. It's awesome and it's so nice. I just gotta tell you, you know, I, you know, for a lot of years of working in hair in the hair industry, it's so nice when you can go somewhere where it's a group of women who are empowering each other, lifting each other up, encouraging one another, and there's no cattiness, no drama, no BS. It's just such a nice breath of fresh air because honestly, unfortunately, in a lot of places in this world, we don't have that, which I hope and pray that we start to get more of that. But so it's a great way for me to get away once a week and to go hang out with my friends and to get in shape and to be healthy. Well, a year and a half ago is when I started. And so they had encouraged me last year at the old English fair to perform and I was too chicken. And then they also encouraged me last October and some things were going on with my race that I ran for my half marathon last year that I couldn't just do it. It was just way too much. So this year I decided that I was going to step out and I was going to do it afraid. And oh my goodness, it was so awesome. I had such a blast. The whole weekend was great. The first day, of course, my first performance, I was super nervous. But by the end of the dance, I was like, oh my gosh, I totally did it. I nailed it. I can do this. And so by the next dance, because we actually performed two days um, in the King's Tent at the Old English Fair, which is at the Wildlife Prairie Park, which I had went to the Old English Fair years ago, but I'd never been to the event since it had been at Wildlife Prairie Park. And it's so much nicer. So if you're in the Central Illinois area, and are gonna be around next year, I totally encourage you to come and, and check us out and, and to watch the dancers. But they have been doing this for years. Like they've been participating for over a decade with this group of dancing every year. But anyways, we danced on Saturday and we danced on Sunday. And it was like kind of like an act one, act two. And so the first one, I danced one dance in. And then the act two, I ended up dancing two dances in. And one of the dances I was super confident in because I had been practicing with the girls consistently for months and months and months. But the other two dances that I had learned like previous year, uh, previously in the year, I was kind of choppy because the holidays was going on and you know you heard me say before how crazy and busy my winter month was with all the holidays and things like that going on and and i had some races thrown in there in the fall and so there was i had to earn learn just bits and pieces of the other two dances but however i decided that i want to do it and i wanted to do it with excellence so i got on youtube i i ended up just practicing practicing as much as i possibly could and it was super cool because the day of we went out there I danced it. I wasn't perfect. As you'll see in the videos, I did make a few mistakes here and there, but I think I totally rocked it considering the fact that really I technically only learned two of the dances in about a little over three weeks. <laughs> so, and also I got to say too, um, 
every week that I had shown up, I was still covering my belly. So I didn't even like have the like the 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 courage to you know in a classroom full of ladies to even show my belly and my stretch marks and all that kind of stuff yet until really three weeks before the dance because I thought you know okay if I'm gonna be performing this is why I'm performing it and I gotta practice in in this skirt and this top or whatever and um, but as you'll see in the pictures it really wasn't that much skin that I'm showing and. You know, that was one of the reasons too, I think that why I was kind of hesitant to share with a lot of different friends and stuff is because of the fact there's such a negative thought on this. A lot of people look at it as it's like strippers and like, uh, but honestly, I don't want that negativity. I don't want people's negative comments. And so that's one of the reasons why I haven't shared with a lot of people about it because I honestly don't care. I know I'm feeling good with it and my husband's fine with it. And so I have his blessing and so I'm having fun and I know that I'm not doing anything in the wrong. And so I am totally going forward with that. So, but it is just one of those things that also, as I was looking into this, is so many people that have been in it in the long term with their longevity of dancing, they look amazing. In fact, um, this is my, I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna try to show it without the glare, but these are my instructors and they both look absolutely beautiful, amazing. Pava, my teacher, is 73 years old. That's right, this beautiful woman here in the blue, is 73 years old. So that's totally like health life goals. And that's who I wanna surround myself with is people who are healthy and are so vibrant and still wanna live life. And they don't just wanna get old and decrepit and say, oh, I can't do that anymore. And put all these negative thoughts about what they can't do and what they're capable of doing anymore because of their age. Age is nothing but a number. I mean, you can look over and over again about so many people that uh, live a healthy lifestyle, they eat well, and how they have a very happy, long, productive longevity life. There's so many people that are able to live into their 90s and their hundreds and they still have their mindset and they still have their body. It really is just up to us of whether or not we choose to use those muscles because if we don't, we're gonna lose it. If you just sit around, then you're gonna rust out and you're gonna get to the point where when you want to go to use those muscles, you can't anymore because they're fatigued or they're so bad or they haven't been working. You know, it's just like a well-oiled machine, right? You gotta keep up with it and there's maintenance to do that. Our bodies are the same way. You gotta make sure what you're putting on the inside and what you're doing to the outside of it, that that way you can have a long, healthy life throughout. And that's what my goal is. My goal is not just about losing weight, but my goal is about keeping my stamina, keeping it fresh and exciting and fun. And that I have things to look forward to. We gotta keep our health and our working out and our workouts fun. So you gotta find something that's fun. That's why I wanted to share this with you all, superstars, just to encourage you to go out there and try something. Do something fun and exciting. Something, and even, even if you try it once and it's not for you, at least you tried it and you know. You don't have any of these what ifs or these regrets. But you never know. You could totally start it, fall in love with it. And it's one of those other things that's just on your your healthy habits of helping you to keep your strength and your balance and, and keeping your metabolism up and having fun and um, keeping your body healthy and strong. So, superstars, I just hope that me sharing the story with you would just encourage you. Um, and that's why I want to share with you about why I started Billy Johnson and how I kind of came about it. So, um, but for you, it could be anything else. And so I really want to hear from you of anything like that you have stepped out and maybe was hesitant to do at first and then you did it and it was fun, it was awesome, please share and comment below. Um, also superstars, if you like this video, please, it's like my tip jar, it helps me just um, to be able to share it, share it with others that you know that can use this encouragement um, and maybe somebody else who's been thinking about getting into uh, belly dancing and they have questions and things like that. Um, and so superstars, I just love you so much and my prayer always for you is that you will be patient and make healthy choices while you are in the waiting.